Well, Abigail and Jess, the owners tell me the problem is the city requires them to have 32 of these emergency exits around that haunted house, and that's how the thieves are getting in. I mean, it's wide open. We, we're not allowed to put orange fencing around like many events that you see throughout the state, and it just it makes it real easy to access. So. Rod John Lou and Andrew West, co-owners of the Nightfall Haunted Territory, were left scratching their heads this morning. They were making sure everything was good to go for the weekend, but as they went through the maze, they noticed a lot of items used to scare people were gone. Animatronics, masks, CD players, stereo systems, speakers, uh, fog machines, lighting. About $3,000 worth. <laughs> Things they'll have to replace in just a few days. Yeah, we just yeah. got to set everything back up and, and start over, basically. Yeah, we're trying to just create something fun for people to do for the season of Halloween and everything, so I don't know. I guess it's just part of life. Both tell me they'll be investing in surveillance cameras soon. They hope it'll keep the burglars out. In Bethany, Paris Jones, KOCO, 5 News.